Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Cruising Maya. If we haven't met before, we're Mac and Jenny, and together with our dog, Disco, we've been documenting our lives and travels aboard our trusty sailboat, Maya. In previous videos, we sailed down the west coast of Baja, Mexico, to where we are now, in Magdalena Bay. And in this video, you'll see us sail the rest of the way south and meet up with friends and family for a couple of amazing weeks. So without further ado, let's jump into it. We are in Magdalena Bay, just about to head out. Okay, good morning. It's like 3.30 in the morning. We just left Magdalena Bay and we are headed for Cabo. It should be roughly like a 36 hour passage or so. Yeah, we're just leaving at like 3 a.m. so that we can get to Cabo in the daylight because we don't want to have to try to anchor there at night. It just seems like it's a lot of traffic, a lot of boats, so we are leaving as early for Magdalena Bay. Best sailing of a trip right now. This is so comfortable. So the wind's coming from behind me, so there's like zero sea state. We're right on the beam and we're just trucking along here at like over six knots. Just like, oh, love it. Got my coffee. Just mm, things are good. Let's hope we can keep this up and uh, in Cabo in no time. I think Jenny's got a fish on right now. Fish on! 20 pound Dorado! <laughs> Okay, so we just made it to Cabo and there's like 360 view of just unbelievable sunset. It's it's just, it's paradise. I mean, it, it's really unbelievable. So it's weird to think that seven years ago we were here just on a random vacation in Cabo and now we're here seven years later on our own sailboat. It's pretty surreal. I never would have guessed back then that we'd be doing this right now, so cheers to that. Well, there you have it. With us arriving in Cabo San Lucas, we end a very long West Coast trip, a journey that started three months and 3,000 miles before in Southeast Alaska and finished at Land's End. Now, for the first time in a long time, we point the boat north towards the Sea of Cortez and a new chapter of our cruising story. As it would happen, our friends had invited us and our family to stay at their incredible home outside San Jose del Cabo. With a small notch providing protection, we dropped the hook in 30 feet of crystal clear water and spent the week enjoying the sights and sounds of this amazing place.
Pinky's up. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Oh, cheers. 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 All right, today is a super fun day because we get to bring our family sailing. Well, that's probably good. There we go. Good work, boys. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> Salud! Now, I love that we can text you and stuff. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, easy. Okay, good. Bye, guys! Bye! 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 Bye. Bye. It's been a great week here in San Jose del Cabo. It's been nice to be in one spot for, you know, a week. We've been traveling quite a bit, so it's nice to kind of just stay put. And it's always been, we've always talked about how fun it would be to meet up with friends and family in Mexico when we bring the boat down here. And it's finally happening, so it was great taking friends and family out in these beautiful warm waters, able to get the sails up, able to just jump in and snorkel and just have amazing visibility and crystal clear water. It's just, it's really paradise. So yeah, glad we can finally make this happen. And I really got a chance to relax down by the pool and it was so nice. <laughs> so it was nice. like it was like just a magical week. And to be able to spend it with family, it was just that much more special. So yeah, it was really a vacation for us for sure. And uh, let's see what else. Yeah, one we'll remember forever for sure. Yeah, every morning was just a gorgeous sunrise, a beautiful sunset, so really just soaked it all in. Now on to the next destination. After a great week in San Jose del Cabo, we hoisted anchor and sailed the 35 miles to our next destination, Los Frailes, where we would meet up with fellow cruiser friends for a couple of super fun days. Okay, so we just dinged to shore. And we're putting our wetsuits on and we're about to dive this reef right here.
Los Frailes. We just landed ashore and we're gonna go hike that mountain. Okay, with us safely at anchor in Los Frailes, that's a good place to stop for now. Join us next time as we continue making our way north towards La Paz, Mexico. We've got a ton more adventure and amazing locations coming up, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Before we go, a quick reminder, we have a website at cruisingmaya.com. There you'll find we have a lot more information on our boat and about us. We also have a merchandise store full of fun things that we are constantly adding to. We also have a gear we love page. There you'll find a bunch of different items we rely to live and cruise on a boat. By clicking on any of the links on the Gear We Love page and then shopping on Amazon, we'll receive a small commission at no extra cost to you. And that works with any and all purchases made on Amazon. You don't even have to buy the item from the link. All you have to do is click on any of the links and then start shopping on Amazon as usual. And we'll see a small commission on anything you buy within the next 24 hours. It's a great free way to help support us. It really helps our cause. So thank you everyone who's been participating in that. Another great way to help us out is by joining us on Patreon. We offer different tiers of membership, each with their own benefits, so cruise on over and check it out. A huge thank you to everyone who has joined so far. We so appreciate your support in the making of these videos. You are the wind in our sails. Lastly, a shout out to Pat and Diane for hosting us in their amazing home. Thank you for all the memories and the tastiest mango margaritas south of the border. Okay, with that, we are out of here. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you here next time. Cheers. So after we landed in Cabo, oh my gosh, look at my hat. <laughs> <laughs> How did this happen? Oh my God. Oh wait, just, what? <laughs> you have to wear it under your chin. <laughs> it's a chin strap, oh, okay. Okay, oh, there we go. Hat fail, okay. <laughs>